Hey, good evening, Steve, David, Gracia, and Francisco. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? How was your day? <laughs> it was great, actually. Thanks for asking. Okay. It was really good. good what about good. yours? Yes, I yesterday I, I finished with my my responsibilities for <laughs> uh, in my 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 job hmm. uh, and now it started again um, every month uh, every month uh, I started uh, with new cases we need responsibility we need but in this um, I don't know, maybe two or three months ago, uh, we changed. The, we changed. It's not a month. It's maybe twenty or fifteen days. When, when, or month reduce. Uh, no, not thirty days. Uh, now it's fifteen or twenty days. So it's like a workload that you have to finish yes. every 15, 20 days. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. And on the next week, I want to, to take um, a week from my, my vacations. Hmm. Hmm. I want, I need to, to relax. <laughs> In, in sleep and rest. <laughs> no, that's good actually. What what are you planning to do? Mm, I have to do many things in my 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 home. Um, I yeah, it's a balance and relax and rest and to do. To do many things like uh, repair uh, a door, uh, I don't know. I, there are many things I have to do, <laughs> but I try to 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 put in, in balance. Are every, you married? Are you married? No, no, no. no. So, uh, but you have to take care of your house. Like, and that's why I'm asking because as a husband, you know, you have to do a lot of things. Uh, yes. re repair the the roof. Um, how do you say canales in English? Canales, my uh -huh. my last name. Okay. No, no, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's the way we call them, but it's just where water drains from your roof. How do you call that? What did you say, David? Channels, channels. You are looking for. Yeah, but that, that's. <laughs> that's a channel, yeah. That, that that's the most logical thing, right? To translate. Yes, yes. But the 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 use of that word. Hmm. It's a waterway. Now way, a waterway. Hmm. And that's Rain the problem. Rainwater, roof channel. No. Rain gutter, G U T T E R. Let's see. Yeah, just gutter means canal. That's right. So rain yes. gutter. Rain gutter. Sounds like a plane. Okay. That's really good. You see, even me, I have to learn new words. I, you never stop learning English until. Not even if you move to the United States at this point or to another country where they speak English. And let's say right now I'm 41 and I moved to um, London or the, to the States, whatever. Even if I reach the age of 80, you know, living in, in those countries, I will never stop learning English. If you If you were not born in that country, that's what I mean. Because... In the end, 
there's a plain truth. And this has to do with our topic tonight, which is confusing words, effect and affect. That's the, that's the topic of the lesson plan tonight. Today is our lesson number 16. And if you are if you were not born speaking English, you will always find words. And that's because even native speakers use the the vocabulary that is useful for them. Um, it's the same in Spanish. If you have a kid, you know, of, I don't know, a 10 year old, a 10 year old kid, and you try to talk to him about mechanics or I don't know, a complex topic, most likely the kid will not get a word of what you're saying. He or she will not understand. Don't you think? Well, kids nowadays, right? They have seen a lot of information on the internet and they have an answer for everything. Hmm. They do. Okay. Okay. Question. Did you finish the midterm? Yes. Yes, I did. Yesterday was the last day to do the midterm. Where is it? There it is. Okay. I'm just loading the platform. We will check just a minute um, how we did on that. So continuing, we have to work on confusing these two words. Most likely we will have other words as examples that you could confuse. You could get confused. Which makes a lot of sense actually. Okay. Let me do the attendance first so we can move on with the class. And I'll check the um, midterm results in just a minute. So today is Tuesday, the 20th, June 20th. And today for me is Saturdays. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the bus right now. Okay, Fernando, I got you. Rain gutter. I like the word. I have to see gutter. 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 Got her, got her, got her. It still respects the T in the middle of vowels rule. Okay. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. She's not here. She's not here. Okay. Fernando Marvin González Martinez on the bus. I got you, don't worry. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. With Gracia Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. Here. <laughs> okay. And Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Not here today. Oh, there's Dora. Hello, Dora. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Good, good evening. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Still in the States, I guess. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She's not here. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores as well. Present. Excellent. Okay. So, confusive words. From the top of your head right now, do you have any word that sometimes is like, shall I use this one or that one? Yeah. Well, I mean, on Excel, I don't know how to pronounce shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, it is shit, shit. I know. Oh, come on. Shit. Oh, shit. shit. No, no. <laughs> sheet. Don't say the other one. Sheet. 
The one for true. itself, the double E, right? The double E. That's S -A -E right. -E sheet. Sheet. Mm -hmm. Sheet. An okay. Excel but sheet. It sounds like what? cheating. Oh, that, that could be, yeah, with cheat. Cheating. Uh huh. Cheating. 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 And that's a different context. Uh, cheat, cheat. Now, that's a very easy thing to avoid getting confused with um, cheat. I'm sorry, my internet was was failing. Failing, and right now is saying that it's unstable. I don't know what to say. Un I was unstable. telling you, unstable. unstable. I got you. Ah, okay. Are you in Santa Ana? Yes, of course. You are right. You are right. In Seneca. <laughs> it's just that here in the, in the area in Mexicanos is is uh, today Tigo was here in my house because they were reviewing what's going on because my internet keeps fluctuating, you know, down mm -hmm. and then up. So, no, um, claro, team claro. <laughs> oh, we're doing commercials now. Okay. <laughs> sorry. No, but I was okay. you that the word with this bird cheating with CH. Yeah, yeah, CH. Now, the simple explanation on that is the pronunciation of the CH and the SH. Okay, it's shit. Shit. She. No, the word, the, the, the page for itself is shit. Shit. Okay. A paper sheet. A paper sheet. Okay. Not confusing with the bad word, right? An excel no, no, no. Yeah, I mean it's <laughs> logical, yeah, your brain is elsewhere. But the, the pronunciation of the CH and the SH is different. Okay. And, uh, do you remember when you used to call the hands at home? Mm -hmm. Call the hands. <laughs> no, you never call hands? Yeah. Like shh shh. Oh <laughs> no, I haven't. How about I so you, my, my my neighbor? I guess you never worked in a microbus collecting the money, right? No. <laughs> so just that just sound. Nina, Nina. Exactly. Th that's the sound that we Salvadorians okay. do a lot, right? Mm. Mira, mira. <laughs> okay. So that's right. the shit. The sh sheet. Uh huh. Now, okay. cheat is different. And this, this lets me stop on the sh shoes. Shoes. Oh, shoes. Okay. Sharp. Sharp. Mm -hmm. She. Okay. She. she. Oh, okay. I got it. Cheat. Ooh. Chop. Oh, my God. Shop. Shop. Let's go like sh shopping. Oh, no, shopping. No. Shop. Uh huh. Okay, let's go shopping. Shopping. But shopping. chop, 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 okay. chop, chop. Okay, got it. When, okay. when you chop vegetables, it's different than chop something. Yeah. Mm, okay. shop yeah. That's what we're going to talk about. Okay. Any other okay. words? What about get or got? And that is the very present and the other <clears throat> past. in the past. Mm -hmm. I know, but. English people, Britain. Oh. English? They they use that a lot. Got instead of get. Got. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. Will you got me a present, please? Okay. Let me got you a present. I got you a present. That sounds more logical. I bet they do that all the time. I have some friends in London. And, and they... I don't like talking to them, to be honest with you, because they get mm -hmm. me confused with a lot of words. And, and that's because they speak pure English. You know, mm -hmm. that's different, right? It's very different. British, British English. And mm -hmm. I say, when I say British, they don't like it. It's British. It's British. <laughs> or when I say water. <clears throat> my mother and my father. My mother. My mother and my father. My mother and my father. Peter, oh. Peter, <laughs> Peter, come here. I like the Peter. Yeah, those <laughs> kind of confusing <laughs> words um, is what we're going to talk about tonight. But so let's recall really quick the information from yesterday. Um, what's there to say about yesterday's class? What do you remember? It was just a review, right? Yes. Okay. 
Come on. The exercise for the interview at the end of the class. Oh, the interview. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that was your favorite part. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, so was the punctuation exercises, the 20 sentences? The punctuation exercises. I, I thought that was going to be boring for you, but I I saw many of you like... Yeah, it was, but anyway. Struggling, <laughs> struggling a little bit. And the teacher learning how to use what? A no, shirt. Sure. Well, what's going on, Ileana? Grace, I see you laughing together. What What's going on? <laughs> What are you watching? Oh, you're texting each other. Come on. Show me show me, show me the paper. Can you imagine? It's like, give me that. I'm gonna read it to the class. <laughs> Come on, girls. Okay. Yeah, that didn't. Give me just a second. So, uh, well, resuming, uh, I was looking at something that I would like to present to you, but I'm considering things before doing and uh, because of copyrights and all that, you know. After 10 years teaching, I can tell you um, the main issue with uh, pronunciation is um, the way you perceive the information. And it all depends on on your teacher okay if you so far have had good teachers and they and you mimic and you mimic their pronunciation that's you're done i mean if you have someone who speaks very well english you can mimic their pronunciation that's the whole thing with pronunciation now I mean, learning this language it can be splitted or divided on different stages, right? The first thing that you face is, what was the first thing that you understood about English or you learned? Was it grammar, listening? What was it? Interesting question. Maybe as, uh, for me, it was reading. I, I learned to read before I could actually understand what was I reading. So you were reading and translating? No, just, just reading. Like, I didn't know what it was about, but I could read. Really? So you never thought about or stopped to translate? You were just learning the pronunciation of the words? Or the uh, at that time, at mm -hmm. the time, the like like the classes where you read and then the teacher will tell you, uh, so what you read is about this. And then on the other hand, the there will be vocabulary, which included some of the words included in the, uh, in the reading part. And that was your first experience with English. Yes. Oh, my God. But everything was in English. I mean, are we talking about your school? OK, now that's the closest approach to English you can have if you have a bilingual school, right? Or an English school, I should say, right? They, they, did they teach you everything in English, math, science? Yeah, except for the. Uh... Like the national subject, like the and oh, oh, okay, like yeah, history. Uh -huh. uh, no, his history was in English as well. Okay, it's just that there are some required um, assignments. Okay, I, for I always forget that word. 
It's a synonym of assignment. Subject. There are some required subjects uh, on each country, right? In El Salvador, it's requirement for kids to study this, 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 and that. Salvadorian culture, for example, is like a must. And so, then that's my point. First, most likely, if you were not on a on an English school, let's say, um, which is the majority of us history uh, or story, I'm sorry, you are faced with grammar as the first thing. The first thing teachers, regular teachers teach is grammar as a starting point. And then most teachers, regular teachers or public school teachers, they brag. This is a common thing. They start bragging, speaking in English, thinking that that's a way of teaching when it's not. Sometimes, uh, raise your hand if you had a teacher talking about its personal life in a classroom. No, never? Because that's a common thing too, you know, complaining with the students. I know I'll be joining the and saying, I can't get a problem in the You're like, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> And of course, the students go like, no, está bueno, teacher, de él, está bueno. Ring. Oh, my God, it's time for the next class. Bye, guys. <gasps> okay, that's common. Uh, so the main problem with regular classes was that you had a teacher teaching on the board, giving you the back. You were never able to participate. Um, three, six years, six years ago, there was a trend coming from Spain, uh, even though the, Spain was like, and Italy was, were the ones that started this trend of a student center class. But to the extreme, you know, there was no topic, just the students building the class. Bill Gates created a, a study, you know, or some sort of, um, research on how teachers teach and teaching the, the teachers to have the students create their own path of learning. And the last point of that is Sweden, I think. Sweden, they have no homework. They do whatever they want and the teacher can use their its creativity, you know, to send the kids, for example, to the yard. Go to the yard and bring three findings you made on the yard, on the playground, okay? One of the kids went on the tree, found some worms, brought a worm to the classroom or a butterfly, you know, and they start explaining, making an exposition, you know, presenting their ideas and developing their own thoughts. Here in El Salvador, we call that like the Montessori method, I think, right? Yeah, and that involves all their things for toddlers and and um, elementary school kids. So coming back to learning English, your approach will depend. Uh, I mean, your approach will um, be, the approach they used to teach you will be very significant nowadays. So as, as, as you can tell, Gracia has very good pronunciation. Now it makes sense. I mean, reading English from the beginning and understanding it, being in an environment where everybody was speaking English, somebody speaking Spanish may have seen like the weirdo of the class, right? Why are you speaking in Spanish, right? And that's what happens in a country where they speak English. It's very common. Okay. I, Okay, I wanted to find something funny to show you. Uh, hold on. Let me just a minute because I saw something once. I have a challenge for you. I just found it. So this is what we're gonna we're gonna do. We're gonna stay here. We're not getting splitted. I want you to pay close attention to this funny video. 
and bring three, uh, at least three uh, solutions to the sentences that you will hear. Okay, let's see how your listening is, your comprehension of grammar, and I'll do the same because it's, it's kind of weird. If you're able to do this, okay, you have very good listening, you have very good based on grammar, just listen to what they're saying and correct three sentences that you hear on the video. So let's watch the video, it's just a minute and a half but I'll give you five so you can find and correct the sentences. Good? Questions? No questions? Okay, so our five minutes start right now. Let's go. The whole video is about incorrect sentences. <laughs> ah, using isn't it when it's not necessary. Oh my God. And is she? Um,
Okay, so what's the matter with these people, right? Okay, I'll wait for you. Oh, they are crazy. <laughs> they don't know. They are talking, trying to learn, but my God. They are confusing each other in every sentence they say. Okay, but let's say the first sentence, hey, aren't we all in the same English course? Mm -hmm. That was right. Mm -hmm. No, I heard the, I had trouble with my, my with the grammar, isn't it, at the end? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um... And then when he was trying to explain to the other student that, uh, the girl has traveled with the metaphor, I guess. I don't know what she say. Aren't she? She ended with, aren't she? Aren't she? Uh, that, that's the guy, the, star, the, mm -hmm. the one that starts the conversation, stating that he has problem with his gram grammar. And then he was asking, why don't, in the middle of something, why don't we study next week? Is it something like that, isn't it, at the end? Isn't so, it? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And what's the right thing to say? If you say, why, why don't we go to the beach? Why don't we study next week? That's it. It's a question. Can you... Now... No, wait. Hmm? Have you studied... Oh, my God. How do you call this? I just lost it. Rhetorical questions. Um... Hold on. Is the fourth form of speaking i shall say no the fifth so you have affirmative negative question open question and the fifth one it's called i just forgot it okay, the question. <laughs> no it's just that question at the end it's, um, not, it's rhetorical questions but it's like no yeah how do you call it I don't remember. Oh my God, I just lost it. Mm. And there's a rule. There's a rule to do that. Uh, it's not called rhetorical questions, it's something else. I'll, I'll look it up for you and send you something so you can you can do that um because i forgot it and i like that that topic uh but it's very simple if you're if you say a positive statement you have to end up with a negative question with a negative question exactly so gracia is funny so i have gracia what's the pronoun for gracia she right so um, I have to start with the auxiliary of what I'm using. So gracia, I'm talking about a feeling. So that's the verb to be, right? So is, isn't she? Give isn't. me just, just a minute, okay? okay. I'm really sorry. I had a little emergency there. So I was saying, so isn't she will be the the, the question. Um, how do you call this thing? I can't remember it. But there are some rules to do it. And there's a special rule where you have to use the do as an auxiliary when you use the verb to be. But I can't remember right now. So moving on. Um, is it okay if we move on? Okay, <laughs> it wasn't it. Well, let's see. Um, so, I mean, sometimes I'm perfect, but other times I don't. One day, 
one day yeah that that i think he had the worst problem what was the right thing to say in that question sometimes i think um i lost it sometimes i think i'm perfect but other times i don't sometimes i think i'm perfect but sometimes i don't what's the right question to ask there at the end am i don't i that's the right thing don't i okay hmm. what else did you find did you find something else My problem is spelling. I can spill to save my loaf. What was he trying to say? Maybe I can't spell to save my life. Exactly. I can't spell to save my life. Spell to, to, say, to save my life. I don't know. To say or to save? I, for okay. it's like saying, for example, right? I cannot spell life. I can spell to say my life. It's really weird. I I think that the the the, the phrase to save my life is kind of uh, yeah, like I, I cannot do it, even though my life depends on that. Uh, even even that's right. If even if my life is on it. Even if my life is in it, I spill, I lay on the spill chalk on my computer. <laughs> That's exaggerating. Oh my God. I can sp uh, spell check on my computer. computer. But you know, look at it this way. You can lead a horse to water but you can't eat it too. That sounds like El Chavo, what, what Chespirito, right? Trying to do his thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a common word. Okay, what else did you find? It was your duty, not mine. I think it's funny the one, the person who isn't able to use emphasis on his sentences <laughs> yeah the the what i told you before right the um there's no accent in english there's the stress syllable right where do you emphasize where you raise your voice when you speak i'm always crying over spilled chicken before before they're hatched don't cry over spilled water Spill water or spill milk? I don't know. Milk, milk. milk uh, or water. Yes. Spill wine. Uh huh. I'm always crying over spilling chickens before they are they are hatched. Hatched is, is hatched. What is hatched? Do you hatched. know? Mm. When an egg breaks. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. Hatch. That's the, that's the verb hatch. I've got a very small vocabulary. They almost kill her at the end. Emphasis. Emphasis. Once of these guys say grave, grave idea. Maybe he, he wants to say great idea. But but he said grave 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 idea great idea e r a v e uh -huh. and that's the one that has problems with spelling right yes <laughs> that that's a real problem I mean yeah definitely I'll play one more for you later if you're good okay so tonight. 
on your workbook, um, page 23, we have to talk about confusing two specific words. There are a lot more, but after working on your workbook, page 23, we're gonna go on with a small presentation, understanding this topic a little bit more and why does it cause you so many trouble? Why does it cause us so many trouble? Because this doesn't happen just to us. That's why I was opening with this a short video and and the little conversation about even native speakers have problems when they speak. In case you didn't know, there are like eight different accents in the United States. Um, and that's because of the way they were colonized, let's say, or how the United States was founded. Um, so that, that's one of the reasons um, people in Texas have their own accent, their own way of calling some things as they do. I mean, if you, and it's very close. The distance is very close. If you compare someone from Texas with someone from Mississippi, from Alabama, they talk totally different and they call things different ways. So, but in this case, scaling up your idea. Let's see how to use confusing words Effect or effect, who starts? Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. But first, let's understand. Effect, who wants to help me? Me, teacher. Good, Elena. Okay. <clears throat> effect is mostly used as a verb to talk about producing change or making a difference. Okay, let's a. use one example. Okay, A, the main scaling challenge to overcome is to replicate models that affect consistent social impact. Affect, producing change or making a difference. So this action will affect or will have consequences, right? It will cause an effect. I just remember the matrix cause and effect, cause and effect. So I see, I, I got confused there on the movie. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure now if he said effect or effect, hmm. cause and effect. It sounds better effect, right? Cause and effect, but let's see. It should have been effect, hmm. No, effect, let's see. <laughs> okay, effect as a verb. The second example, David. Says the microgrid model developed by Amal Junos affects the life, the life of South and of Bangladesh women. Perfect, women. That's right. The microcredit model developed by Mohamed Yunus affected affected mm -hmm, the lives of thousands in Bangladeshi women. Now I know that when you want, how do you call that? The gentilism, gentilism, gentilicio, hmm, yes. gentilism for, uh-huh. Oh, well, am I right, gentilism? I think I am. For someone who lives in Bangladesh, okay, in India, is Bangladeshi. Bangladeshi women, Salvadorian women, mm -hmm. American women, and so mm -hmm. on. Trans translated to Spanish, Bangladeshi, but that would be... El gentilicio. Yeah, yeah I... I... There's no way to translate Bangladeshi to Spanish, I think. Okay, so as a verb, about producing change or making a difference. So this affect in such a way something that it created this reaction. Should we go... Let's keep going down to understand effect first, and then we go with effect. So moving down, uh, Gracia. Uh, OK, 
Affective then its use as a noun means feeling, emotion, or emotional response. The use of affect as a noun is not very popular. Response, so, uh huh. The use of affect is a, as a noun is not very popular. It's not very common. What will be the example? Gracias. The, annou the announcement of the reduction to your house today? of sure. government support to social entrepreneurs caused a fiery effect on the audience. Choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. Someone's playing that something. Sorry. <laughs> we I didn't hear you, Gracia. Will you repeat? I'm sorry. Yes. The announcement of the reduction of government support to social entrepreneurs caused a fiery effect in the audience. A fiery effect. Hmm. Fiery effect in the audience. The announcement of the reduction of government support to social entrepreneurs because of fiery effect. This is like fire, right? Fiery. It's, yeah, causing a, a, a big fire, let's say, the emotions of people in the audience. Yeah. They got, yeah, they fed up. They got fed up. They got fed up. They got really upset because of the announcement of the reduction of government support to social entrepreneurs. Okay, that was the effect. That, that's how... It affected, I'm using the word incorrectly, I'm sorry. That's how it affected the audience. Emotions. I'm very affected by um, how things turned out on this storm. You know, there were a lot of, um, there was a lot of people affected by um, the storm. So I'm very affected. Okay. Question. Did I lose anything? On the storm? No. Am I sad? Could be, right? It's just emotions, how it affects me. Okay. How does that affect you? You know, how does something affect you? The crash, um, my car crash really affected me because I loved that car and it's a total loss now. So I'm very affected. I'm very emotional. I'm very affected by loss of some uh, loving family member. Now that's a that's as a, that's as a noun. That is as a noun. That's a that's as a noun. I'm complicating myself. Does this make sense? As a verb and as a noun. We will get to use some examples. Don't worry. Okay, let's do effect. Steve. Effect. Um, as a verb means to bring about a result, it usually occurs with words like solutions, change, reforms. This use of, of effect occurs in very formal contexts as reports. Letter eight, the government needs to effect re reforms to speed subsidies for nascent social businesses. Letter B, legislators should effect change to the tax laws regularly the social entrepreneurial activity. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Thank you, thank you. Effect. 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 Okay, effect. As a verb means a to bring about a result it usually occurs when with words like solutions change. I think it's like a synonym they may have said. This use of effect occurs in very formal contexts as reports. The government needs to effect reforms to expedite subsidies for nascent social businesses. What does the word effect means in this context. Like um, reforms or maybe. Mm -hmm. In your own words, what, what is the meaning? What do you understand? The government needs to affect reforms. Realize. Realize, good, to 
work on something to resolve the situation to resolve in action put it in action just like happened today um today they approved a year and a half for many trans public transportation lines buses that are too old and so the uh, owners of these lines of or routes should i say um of buses they have a year and a half to change the units the legacy units that's that's the reform they approved today if they don't do it they will just lose the the units i guess okay so they they just put in effect that's another way of using this word they just put in effect they just put in effect a new reform a new act a new legislation legislation act okay the second one legislators should effect changes to the tax laws regulating the social entrepreneurial activity. When does the new transit law comes in effect? Do you know? Has it been approved? No, right, they haven't approved it. But once they approve it, it will come to effect. You got the point, the, the, the point now? Um, there's another legal way of using this in money laundry, I'm sorry, in this context of money talking. Um, or in some other context, when you hire Netflix and then you uh, want to, how do you call this? And I use it every day. When you want to cancel the services, so you cancel it today, which is the 20th, June 20th, and there's a pop-up, a message that tells you that the effective cancellation date will be July 15th, which was your next payment due. Make sense? That was the effective date of cancellation. You're canceling it right now, but you can continue using the service until July 15th. Make sense? The effective date. So that's another synonym word of effect, effective date. Let's move on. Effect is mostly used William, are you there? Yeah. That's scary. You're in the darkness. Okay, help me. Effect is mostly used. Where? Okay, effect is mostly used as a noun to describe the consequences changes caused by something or someone. The use of effect as a noun is a lot of a lot more common than be used as a verb. Then it's used as a verb. Okay, as an example. The most powerful effects of a successful social business are sustained social impact and an increased credibility to the business model. Of the business model. Okay, most powerful effect. So the most powerful result. Effect as a noun. Result will be a noun. I mean, a synonym. Do you have another synonym for effect as a noun? Hmm. No. Okay. There's a very important note here. In everyday English, if you're looking for a verb to express change or effect, most likely you'll use affect. Hmm. On the other hand, if you need as if you need is a noun, then effect as a noun is the word you need to go for. So again, as a verb, 
you better use affect as a noun, affect. Because again, affect as a verb is mostly used in a very professional way, a formal context, as the letter said there. Okay, now we have some exercises, some sentences here you need to correct on page 23 of your workbook. All you have to do is underline the most appropriate word to complete the statements below and check the answers with your classmates. So in this occasion, I'm gonna split you and you will discuss after completing it by yourselves. So do it first on your own, on your workbook, and then on your group. Go like, what did you put on number one? I don't know, I use effect. <laughs> Effect like E F F E C T exactly. You got it? I got it. Okay. <laughs> Why are you explaining those things like that? We're not children. Good evening, teacher. I'm driving through San Salvador. Oh, I'm sorry, from San Salvador. When I get home, I'll get connected. Got it? Thank you. Sorry, I was reading aloud, out loud one of your classmates' message. messages. Okay, so we are 10. We're going to be split in groups of four. And David, are we using two cameras? I know, right? Just one. Yes. Good. Awesome. Okay, let me split you now. Go to page 23, exercise six. Guys, let's go. William, Francisco, Jose, Wilfredo, Fernando, Wendy, let's go. El efecto fatal. The most for effect. Mm -hmm. The second one, any social entrepreneurial for as a service model. Mm -hmm. Therefore, yeah. therefore. Entrepreneurs need to be careful about turning up the model if they go with a small population. I see it's the same effect. The same exactly effect. Effect. Of the then... success or failure. You mean philanthropists have the tendency to affect in this chain, in this case is okay, will be affect, exactly. Change to, to triple. Present no. yes. business entrepreneur think of scaling as a roadmap to work. 
to effects. You. Business entrepreneurs think of scaling as a roadmap toward profitability, while impact entrepreneurs see a measure to determine the right size for sustainability yes. with long term. Yes, effects. Effect, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so the same that they're in the platform. Oh, did you already resolve the yes. platform? Oh, Social entrepreneurs. I access. haven't yet today. Good effect. This is effect. Uh huh. Effect. Exactly. And a world war. More productivity than business model by partnering with high caliber. Wow, oh, high caliber. I didn't know that this body's name is high caliber. Oh. Talent. Mm. Now, why? Hope of social attributes is to develop a powerful pathway to truly affect. Affect. This affect the last one is mm -hmm. I agree with you. G and two. Yes. Did he did I copy for keep it? Oh, we're done. Yes. I will copy because I have a. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. I have a cup. Ah, oh, okay. You ready, guys? Hi, teacher. Hi, Dora. Are you working on the exercises? Yes. Okay. Let me know if you have any doubts. I think it is. I think okay. it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
first question, Mr. Linares, do you have the answer? <laughs> You wrote the answers, Miss Albert Steep. <laughs> yeah, I wrote the answers, but I was wondering if Mr. Linares has the answers. <laughs> number six? No, you don't. I never oh. do that. No, I prefer to go on the whole classroom, you know, so we can work it together. I do have the answers on the teacher's book. I don't mm. like I don't like using that book. I prefer to listen to your explanations on why. We're going to use such word. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> what if my exactly. answer is because it feels right? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. So you're done, right? Yeah, we're done. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Hmm, where are the others? Oh, two, one, here we come. Okay, really quick. So I, I I noticed this was easy for you. I think you got the idea, right? It's not a difficult topic, being I'm totally honest with you. Okay, a light bulb just exploded in the house. Everybody's fine. Let's keep going. Okay, so Give me the answers, shoot the answers. First one, I want to see you, hold on. There we go. So, premature scaling brings about the most fatal for social entrepreneurs. It gets them out of business. Effect? Effect. Effect. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we are sure. Why? Because it sounds better. Noun. <laughs> it's a noun. You are looking for a noun. A fatal effect. No, 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 yes. My job is to make you doubt. <laughs> In case you didn't realize before. Okay. So, yes, that will be effect. Let me use this little thing here. Okay. Effect. Any social entrepreneurial effort has a service model. Therefore, entrepreneurs need to be careful about tuning up the model. If they work with a small population, the effect or the effect of the success or failure will mean little. Effect. Effect. Now, is it effect or effect? So this one? Yes. Why? Yes. Somebody tell me why. Well, we are looking for a noun, the same. The same? Yes. We got the success. Okay. I agree with you. It's part of this. Uh, of the right hand side, okay. Philanthropists have the tendency to affect or affect changes to found those entrepreneurs who present novel projects. In this case, we are looking for a verb. So? Affect. 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 To affect, yes to affect changes. 
to fund those entrepreneurs who present novel projects. Okay. Business entrepreneurs think of scaling as a roadmap toward profitability, profitability, while impact entrepreneurs see it as a measure to determine the right size for sustainability with long-term effects or effects. Effect. Effects. Effects, totally. With long-term effects. Long-term reper repercussions, repercussions, okay. A worldwide hope of social entrepreneurs is to develop more powerful pathways for impact enterprise to truly affect or affect sustainable development at a global level. Affect. 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 Truly affect sustainable development at a global level. Mm. Okay. Yes. And that's it. This was easy for you, right? Right. Was it? Was it? Yeah. Okay. Did this affect you at, at any given level in your karma? No. Okay. Good. So let's look at some other words that may be affecting you mm. when it comes to speaking in English. I don't like this thing showing there, but anyways. I became an addictive to using this platform. Okay. Confusing words. Effect and effect in ESL. Do you know what is ESL? I wanted to include it on this topic. What's ESL? What does it stand for? Hello. It's yeah. What does ESL stands for? English second language. English as a second language. You got it. English as a second language. One question. Do you see a gray rectangle here? Yes. Okay, good. Now it's going to be useful. Okay. Confusing words affect and affect. Welcome to this comprehensive guide on the proper usage of effect an effect in English language learning. This presentation will provide an in-depth look at the meaning of these words, their differences and useful tips to avoid common mistakes. So, confused words. Now, again, we're from Spanish to English. One of the biggest problems that both native and non-native English speakers, as I told you before, have deal with is the fact that this language has a lot of words that can be easily confused. So for example, gracias. Genotype, phenotype. <laughs> yes, genotype and phenotype. Next, Steve. Democrats, Republicans. <laughs> Democrats and Republicans. Hmm. Does this sound confusing? Now, I can you confuse this? But politics is always confusing. Politics <laughs> in the United States. I mean, you know what I have problems with? No. In El Salvador, we have left or right, right? I'm not yes. gonna say names. Okay, political names. No, thank you. But so which one is the left and which one is the right here? Democrats are right or left? Man, and I studied international relations, you know, foreign affairs. <laughs> <laughs> I understand both are right. There in the United States, there is no like that. Yes, there is. Yes. Really? So, yeah, Democrats and Republicans. It's just a different name. But in the end, you know, it's one side yeah. and another side. It's the same thing. Funny story. Do you know why they name it the left and the right? A political party from left and a political party from right? No? I don't know what year it was. I think it was nine, uh, 1400s or something. But in England, uh, you know, still up till now, 
the queen is the queen or the king is the king nowadays. The king is the king. And um, the thing is that they were in the court. The king was in the middle. And they were arguing over something. And someone said, okay, if you're with me, come to the left. And, you, and if you are with them, go to the right. And so the whole parliament was split in two, left and right. And that's it. Ha ha ha. It's true. That's the way it happened. But anyways, homework. Democrats, are they the right side or the left side? And Republicans, the other way. Continue. Steve. And again, me. Okay, David. Uh, well, whoever in whomever. Good job. Whoever, whomever, whomever. What's the difference? The difference. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna teach this class. Whoever <laughs> wants whoever wants to learn, you can continue reading, okay? But please, but please, whomever took your took my keys, just let me know. Whomever took my keys, let me know. Do you see the difference? Quien sean. Quien okay. sea. sea, yeah, quien sea. Okay. Hmm. Who is quien and whom to a quien? Okay, yes. No, 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 no. Who is quien, quien sea. Okay. Ah, correcto. Yes. It could be as well quien sea. Mm -hmm. Now, whomever, yes. el que haya, el que sea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whomever yes. stole my book, please. Whomever return. stole my book, yeah, please. Let me know exactly. No, please return it. <laughs> please return it. Yes, that's the right way. Whom? Whom is a pronoun. Just think about it as a pronoun. Okay. Coyote. Wolf. And again, Whoa. it's not it's not the sound. It's, it's the, the animal. In, in, yeah, they're, they're two different animals. But yes. if you see them together, in nature, you may go like, is it a coyote or a wolf? So how that do you call the, it? Fight with the beep beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Morbidity. Morbidity. Or morbidity. Yes, that is confusing. And mortality. Now, is there even, opposite? Even in Spanish, it's, it's confusing. <laughs> Why? Morbidity, morbidity. for example, is uh, nowadays uh, morbidity. No, how do you say? Come on, I'm sorry. Kids are less morbid nowadays mm. because they they watch YouTube videos, very raw videos, R A W, very raw videos. They don't care. Their morbidity is higher. I think mm -hmm. that's the way you use it. You know, you they can watch blood on TV and they don't care. See? They that's attend with their, of the, with their life? What? Do, so that means that they attend often with their no. life? No, they just don't mind. Yeah, they, for the reason they all these games things that uh, someone make them like uh, I don't, what can I say viral, and sometimes they try to do the same, but some people die. Yeah, the most common thing is trying to take a selfie a picture of you in risky places then mostly people die yeah exactly oh, okay. and mortality okay. mortality mm -hmm. levels in El Salvador are lower nowadays or, mm -hmm. or yeah yes. yeah I mean there there people live longer right now let's say that's a different okay tone mood What's your tone? 
What's your mood? Mm. The tone of voice, the mood that you have today. What's your mood? What's your mood like today? What's your mood? What's your tone, please? Don't raise your hand. EDT and EST, I got lost on this one. I don't know what's EDT and what is EST. Hmm. Eastern, oh, Eastern Daylight Time and Easter Standard Time. I bet it's the second one, EST. We don't use that. Mm -hmm. Eastern Standard Time, EST, EDT. These are acronyms that doesn't make sense in this context. Parameter or statistic? Ileana, what is a parameter and what is a statistic? Parameter, Parameter is when you take maybe something like a reference. Exactly, a point of reference. Very good. And what is a... And a statistics what? is a... Maybe it's a number that you can use to... to um, tell what's the average. Into... Sorry? Tell what is the average of something, what yeah. is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. how, how something fluctuates in measurements. Very good. Good job. Now, the next one may be a little bit difficult. Gracia, latitude versus longitude. Uh, that's like the, how you measure the, the, the earth. Like you have la latitude, uh, horizontal and long. No, sorry, latitude is vertical and longitude. Is horizontal. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I will have said, you know what I, I was thinking? Latitude is the location of something and longitude is the distance. Something like that as well. That's the the my point of view. I don't know. Latitude, where are you? Okay. Longitude, how far are you? Okay. Oh, look at that. Effective or effective. Thinking about the two words we're discussing tonight. What is it? Effective and effective. Oh, it's easy. Who's got the answer? Effective today. Tomorrow you won't have class. <laughs> <laughs> and that's effective today. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and I got you. Are you effective at work? Of course. One thousand percent. I'm effective. Or efficient. Efficient, that's right. <laughs> that's another way. Uh oh. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm effective and efficient. Yeah, there's a big difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. But are you effective with your relative other? Yeah, so Sign course. significant other, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I okay. them when it's necessary. Oh. I, I love them, if, of course. <laughs> okay, PDT versus PST. What? That one, I don't know. Is another standard time and Pacific daylight time. Oh my God. You're so green uh, at this point, Ana Claudia. Great <laughs> job. I mean, and that's because your company. That's the best joke somebody told me. <laughs> your company uses these times, right? The daylight yeah. saving. Mm -hmm. Guys, are you aware of daylight savings? Kind of? Yeah? Okay. Keep it on. Agnostic versus atheist. Atheist. That's easy for me. That's easy for you, David. What's agnostic? Because atheist, I, I think we all have it clear, right? It doesn't agnostic exist. Agnostic is uh, without uh, something in that. Uh, something in, in what believe. In atheist is something without God. Agnostic is don't have a a, a belief, any nothing. Don't believe nothing. He believes in nothing. Yes, but atheist is uh, with no God. No God. Okay. Thanks to God, I am atheist. <laughs> that that's <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Lion and lion. That's tough. Lane, which one is laying and which one is lying? 
something is to the rest, uh -huh. and the other one is to not speak the truth. Not tell the truth. Okay, so which one tell is one? Is. Which one is which? The first one is uh, you are resting, and the second one is you are lying. Hey, <laughs> great job. Good job. Okay. William, former ladder. I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I didn't know until now. Former, I taught you this one, I'm sure, William. Who is the former president of El Salvador? Maurice. Yeah, Sanchez Seren, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Nuegado. Right. Nuegado. Right. The former. That's the former. And he's also the later. I oh, know. Wait, the later president is uh, Nayib Bukele. And later, guys, is like last, the last one. Okay, inter intra socialism, communism, simil, metaphor, reliability, validity. Listen, validity. Reliability and validity. There's a difference. May, might. Oh, oh, wait. I missed college, university. That's very confusing. And it's the same thing, college and university. Okay? College is like the preparation for the university studies. And I still don't get it totally. Now, may and might, they're very similar. As I told you before, may is mostly to request permission for something, to have to request the permission to be able to do something, to request. Uh-huh, yes, you may, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Don't use might for everything you want. Might is just something out of your control, out of humans con human control, I'm sorry. Um, moving on, jail. You can easily conf confuse jail with prison. Jail could be the jail at the local uh, police office, okay? At the local police office, you have a jail. But pre prison prison is where uh, there's a court. Okay, that's that's the prison. It's a court. So it a... will be like Bartolina? Uh-huh. Beautiful Spanish. You got it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you. I like using that sentence with some students. Okay, aid. Oh my God, aid, aid. Huh, I don't know the second one. Do you? Anybody? Oh, it's the noun. Mm -hmm. Is the doer. A helper? A helper. That's yeah. right. That's right. As we said before, affected, affected. Hmm. See what is studying. It's similar to what we're studying exactly. It has been affected, affected since yesterday. Okay. Anytime. Anytime. Why is there a difference if you put this separated? Hmm. Interesting. I don't see anything. I don't know, but it's if my screen, but I see a square below, and I'm just yeah, this one. Use. That's okay. you. That's you guys. Don't worry. I have it there in purpose. It's okay. But th this, these are you. These are your. The little... last word I see is uh, college and university. Good. That's my intention. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm just covering the. Sorry cover. to interrupt you. No, it's okay. <laughs> You're gonna make me feel you're gonna make me feel bad. Don't worry. Okay. Advisor, advisor. The same thing. Right? Gross, net. So study this uh vocabulary. I think it's very useful, don't you think? Of course it is. Oh, so it's net or the next one. Disc disc. That's interesting. Disc disc. There's a difference between those two. Okay, so these are not homophone guys. These are not homophones. Uh, it's just words that in context, uh, you can use them 
by mistake, you know, or you can make mistakes using these words. Uh, meaning of effect and effect, as we saw before, effect the result of, or consequence of an action or event, affect the act of having an impact on or modifying something as we saw. The difference while effect is usually a noun, affect is commonly used as a verb. I'm affected by your words. Okay, how to use effect and effect correctly. I'm gonna use close this window and move this upwards. How to use effect and effect correctly. Is it a subject or object? Use F affect as a verb when something is influencing a subject or object, as we saw in the examples. Use effect as a noun when describing the result of an action or event on a subject or object. Can you give me an example, anybody? Out of the context that we have been studying, in your own words, how do you use affect as a verb? The rain affect the streets. The rain affected or affects uh -huh, the streets. Good job. Steve? For years? For years? Copy? Do you copy me? Copy? Do you copy on your left? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me an example using effect. Mm. With effect or affect? Affect, Steve. I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you a. How do you call this? A noun. So you can think of. Hold on. I'm gonna remove my background so you can don't don't. Okay. Okay. Let me give you a. a are you all looking at me? Okay. Don't judge me. Okay, there. Mm -hmm. There you have his sleeping, his sleeping. So use that <laughs> with the verb effect. She, he, no. <laughs> he, he eat a lot and affect her sleep. He's oh asleep. Oh my god. Somebody make up Steve's sentence. It makes a lot of sense, but correct Steve's sentence. Okay, he ate a lot. He ate a lot. And so eat might it might affect his what his rest or oh, his, his rest sleep. his rest his sleep his very rest. good very good you see it's just thinking about the object practice <laughs> practice yes okay now use effect as a noun when describing the result of an action or event on a subject or object, effect as a noun. The result of an action. The effect of eating too much is getting a stomach ache.
what are the effects of global warming? Come on. Okay, you know what? I'll move on because I want to show you something else so you can prepare something for tomorrow's class. Think about a discussion that we're going to do together. Grammar rules. Always remember that effect is usually a noun. Well, effect is usually a verb. This can help you avoid common mistakes. Again, effect, is it a verb or a noun? Affect. A verb. A verb. Okay, a and verb. effect? A noun. It's a noun. A noun. That's the effect of studying. Good job. And common errors and confusion in ESL? Lack of practice. Yes. Similar spellings. Yeah, the pronunciation. Native language interference. Interference from the speaker's native language can also cause errors, but be mindful of this and ask for clarification when necessary. That's as simple as that. Tips for improving the correct use of these two words. Context matters. And that's what I was about to tell you. The context in everything that you say has to do a lot. And it creates your understanding. I mean, don't worry. Context will help you all the time. Um, <clears throat> you can use examples. Examples are a great way to help you understand how to use a effect and effect correctly. Seek for feedback. If you have a friend who speaks English, try to ask him, hey, you know, how am I doing? Did I use this word right? Help me. Practice, practice, practice. Makes perfect. Use effect and as effect and effect <laughs> as often as possible. Um, examples, as we saw before, the loud noise affected the baby's hearing. His performance was negatively, negatively, negatively affected by his lack of sleep. Oh my God, that sounds like me in the morning. Effect. The effect of the tsunami was devastating. The new policy had a positive effect on the company's profits. And three, two, one, go. Exercises. It's just two. Try using effect or effect in the sentences. You have 10 seconds. Done. <laughs> okay, what's number one? The news affected me deeply. Affect. Perfect. Affected me deeply. What's number two, Steve? Effect. The medicine has the a positive medicine has positive effect. Effect on my health. On my health. You got it. And that's it. We're gonna close with something. Um, we're gonna discuss it briefly. We're talking about uh What's the, our main? What has been our main topic so far in these three weeks? Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurship. And the main word for all of this is sustainability. Sustainability. You may have seen this video before, but I'm gonna share it with you. I want you to be very thoughtful about it and just come up with your own thoughts about it. It's very shocking, I have to say. Very shocking. Um, so prepare your eyes. We're all adults. It's very raw in some occasions. So just watch the videos, just like three minutes and a half. Let's go.
tell me, Liana. That it was a very weird and I don't know. That was shocking. Yeah. A shocking video. Real? Yeah. Yeah. Real. Tell me, what do you think? We have 10 minutes. I think that uh, all the actions that we have, that we are doing now to our planet, will will have effects in the future. How? How come? Because we are destroying our environment. And when I say we, I mean to the humans. We, you know? Because at the end, most of the companies wants uh, want or they are like focus on the on the profitability. Still, companies are focusing on profitability, becoming more profitable. David, the natives in America live here for about a. 20,000 years, it didn't affect the environment. Uh, there were, when, when Colum arrived here, he saw a lot of parrots, a lot of water, a lot of trees, and he was uh, amazed about that. 20,000 years, 200 the natives, the natives uh, live here. And uh, we make, a, a, I don't know what word to say about the, uh, there are a, a, a letter, I, I will get that letter uh, from a Indian chief sent it to the president of the USA. And uh, he speak uh, all of the same. You, we kill animals only for food and only for for fun for for cover ups, but you kill it by by sport and something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to read the letter. It's uh, about uh, two hundred years, and it's uh, so uh, uh, amazing that that letter is uh, because they. Uh, Look at the tree, at the river, at the animal like a brother. And they respect, respect all that. They respect, they, they respect the nature. Yes. Respect all, all of the things. They, they respect the river. And for the reason, the water was good for drink even. And they respect the, the, the trees and they respect the animals. But uh, 500 years of, uh, from the conquerors to that, and uh, we don't have nothing. We have nothing. We have nothing, yes. We have uh, nothing. Double negation, no. We have nothing, yes. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Now, Native Americans were different to Latin natives, I should say, Latin natives, Latin American natives. I mean, the Mayas and all the Bibiles and all that, they 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 were very different, I, I have to say. We, we were darker here in Latin America. And in the United States, actually, just uh, general culture, general culture. I was working at 7-Eleven, a, a chain of stores in this, the United States, very popular chain of stores, 7-Eleven. And I used to work for the back office. So we had the owners of the stores calling to report thieves, you know, to report theft, I should say, to report theft in the stores. There are no security guards on these stores. So if someone comes into the store, steals things, as an employee, you have to let them go. Just take note of the description, the physical appearance, their height, 
what they were wearing. So you can describe them, right? And what they took, that's the most important thing. What they took, so you can reduce it from the inventory. So as a general culture in the United States, all the thieves, you know, the 90% of descriptions I used to receive were, okay, can you tell me how was the thief? Oh, he was a black man or a black woman. Canadian, Canadian stores. Okay, can you describe the thief? Yes, it was a Native American person. Red skin. There's a difference. In Canada, uh, poor or people in poverty are Native Americans, red skinners. In the United States, people in poverty are black people. Just so you know, this is just like a general culture fact. Okay. Steve, are you still affected? <laughs> Yes, it's I uh, I it was shocking. It's, I was, it's, I was uh, in shock. Yes, it's it's, it's very sad. Uh, it's very surreal. He, the human destroyed everything. Maybe the idea is is uh to be or to have a a, a good uh, life. But is but destroyed nature, animals, everything. It's very sad. Nature, animals, yes, nature. You know that has always called my attention. The point of commodity. Yes. Because every invention goes oriented, or the most popular inventions, I should say, are oriented to satisfy commodity of human beings everything that we have created as a species has to do with commodity think about it tell me one thing that we have invented that doesn't have to do with commodity with being comfortable in your house you have a house the house is just commodity why didn't we continue living in the caverns <laughs> <laughs> right or not wearing right. clothes as david was saying not wearing clothes why do we need to wear so many different kinds of clothes or, or shoes we actually i was reading that we deformed or our feet did you know with the shoes when we created shoes we deformed our feet that's amazing and we have a lot of problems with our lumbar column what is it with this, with our spine, you know, we have our spine is all different than what it used to be because of shoes. So we didn't need shoes. Okay. Lastly, Gracia, do the honors. What do you think? Uh, well, I was affected by the effect that humanity has made on planet Earth, and I cannot say that I am free of anything. Because as part of the society, I also um involved with uh with affecting the 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 yeah, yeah the effect. affecting the planet yeah <laughs> so all what we've been studying uh, in this uh, three weeks uh, about uh sustainability and a growing a growing economy uh but also maintaining the environment as well as the society is a fundamental is fundamental so that we can make a shift in the culture in human culture that's right i don't know i wonder if it is possible i i think it is not longer possible just to... a fact mm -hmm. actually uh, about 2 days or oh, 2 or 3 days ago they re reached the limit of 1.5 Celsius for the temperature of the air. So what? if we get even higher, uh, the climate change and global warming will, will be irreversible. So we're on the bridge and still. We shall stop uh, commuting commuting by vehicle at least 
carbonated vehicles, you know, we shall stop. I, I bet you that's the only way I think that things will change drastically. If everything would stop, just like in the quarantine, you know, nobody will leave their houses, just work from home. And if you need food, just go by feet, by foot, I'm sorry, to the supermarket, do something by foot, do exercise, stop using vehicles just for, I don't know, a month it would be a great experiment. You know, if we should, if we could stop everything just for a month. I don't know. I don't think this is reversible. And it's just when I when I talk about this topic, it, it comes to my mind. Um, Avatar. Those kind of movies where I mean, the only way human could have achieved a balance between nature and, and, and its society is living in the trees or just a regulation of having a big tree in your property. It's one big three for every house, you know. That could have been something. But anyways, that's a great topic. We will continue tomorrow. Tonight, I'm staying with who? Who stood with me yesterday, Anna Claudia? Okay. Okay, let me see. Who would like to stay or should I call out someone? Steve, would you like to stay 10 minutes? Yes. I'm going to do a test with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's stay with Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present and good night. Good night. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good night. Dora Elizabeth night. Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Good. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. He was here. There he is. Good night. Gracia Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. Yeah, good night. Good night. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. I got you, Francisco. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Okay. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. And thank you. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Okay. Let's see, Capi. What do you got, teacher? I'm sorry, but I'm in a meeting. I have to mute the class. Okay, 944. Okay. Good. So this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to present a classroom screen and give you a hint. So you have 30 seconds to talk about that. As I noticed, you were making little mistakes. It's not a big thing, but you can easily correct it. Hold on, where is the text? Here it is. Okay, let's see. So here's the board. You, you're gonna have 30 seconds, not a minute. So how do we do this? Hold on. Mm, yeah, I have to, no, I'm not gonna add nothing here. I need to add three here and a zero. Okay, so you have 30 seconds. I'm just gonna give you a topic and you have to say whatever comes to your mind for 30 seconds, okay? <clears throat> You got it? What? Ready? Easy? Okay. Talk to me about rocks. Rocks or rock stars or. <laughs> <laughs> Let's like start over. <laughs> Hold on. Stones. Stones. Okay. I don't know if you remember this. 
uh, island, and there are a big stone like a hell, and they see a, a one wake, and I don't know maybe the the people think that the 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 live in this island, they ancestor maybe think that they move and that will protect the island protect the island and others in ideas thank you that, that's it yours. <laughs> okay okay great okay uh i didn't get this word like a hell like what was like it hill or with heel hill. oh heel Okay, hill, like hills. Okay, there are big stones like hills. It's called Stone Age. Stone Age, right? That's the name of the island. Great, great pronunciation, island. Yeah. Now, this I didn't hear. You were trying to pluralize here. There are big stones. Stones. Now, it's not a stones, it's stones, big stones, big stones. Big stones. You got it. Okay. Hey, good job. Didn't stop talking, and that's the whole point of this exercise. Shall we go with another one? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Talk to me for 30 seconds about girls. Girls. Yeah, I like girls. <laughs> there are different kinds of girls. And blondie, and white, and... Maybe, well, I like uh, one, there are many, there are many girls, but I want like, she's so beautiful. She has a uh, black hair, um, beautiful eyes. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hey, I thought you were going to stay muted, you know, or something. Good job. <laughs> kinds of girls. Uh, there are different kinds of girls. Kinds of girls, okay. Blondies, 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 blondies. whites, yes. very good. But whites. one I like, but but one I like, but there's one, but there's one I like. There, oh, okay, okay, okay. There's one I like, maybe the most, but there's one I like the most. Okay. I like the most, or I really like. <laughs> you, you really oh. like her, yeah. She is da, 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 and you you said hurt that that hurt. t at the end yeah i like her her hurt her her no something like that her, her. heart her heart or her 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 yes her her okay this is funny when somebody says i like her her okay <laughs> yeah so funny <laughs> yeah okay talk to me about pets 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 uh, i i i i like pets i have two two dogs and their their names are irina or irina like in sounding in english spotty is is her her his name and i i feel sad today because I have a, 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 a girlfriend that she lost his he her dog because he's he's died and he was he 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 was um, old he was oh. very very different really? um, just just. He was wow. different, I don't know, complication about his health. But today, she's very sad and me too, because I really like pets. Okay. Great job, Steve. Um, just one thing. Their names are, remember, the S at the end here. No, their names are. Their names are, yes. Yeah, and the word there. Their names. Their. Their names. Their names. Their names. 
her, you, you, you're hesitant. You're, you're doubting about her, his, her, his. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> try to practice these pronouns. I, okay. I, I feel sad today. Yes, I feel so. Well, because you could, in general, right? I feel sad. In general, feel, yes. I'm sad today. I'm sad today, yes. That's better. I'm sad today because I am still sad. I felt sad today. Something sad happened to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a girlfriend. Okay. This, I don't know. I'm not sure if you were talking about a friend who is who is a, a friend, girl. A, a friend, yes. A, a friend, friend who is a girl. Who is you're, a girl? Yes. Uh huh. You're emphasizing that she's a girl. Okay. Yeah, because one will think that you have more than one girlfriend, right? I have a yes. girlfriend. One of my <laughs> girlfriends. <laughs> <All right. laughs> now this, he's died um, about his death. His death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was very sad about his death. Okay. Good job. Okay. This is a very nice exercise. And what I will recommend you to do is this. Uh, go to YouTube and look for the jam technique. Okay. It's just like that. Jam technique. You'll see. Uh, well, jam. actually. Jam. jam. Just, just a minute. Oh, okay. Just a minute. I actually, I will actually send the video to you right now on the WhatsApp because I want everybody to start practicing that. Now, this technique that we just used our I our brain brain teasers. These are brain teasers. It's just one word. Talk to me for thirty seconds. You know, that's very useful. And um, I used to do that on interviews at a call center, <laughs> and and to my students as well. You know preparing them to go to an interview it was very okay. useful because sometimes you get used to the same answers and you become robotic so to avoid sounding robotic just mm -hmm. talked about talk about anything the idea is it sounds more natural excellent yes the idea is to sound more natural there you have the video on the whatsapp so okay. you can check yeah. it out and try to practice that way okay Thank you. See you tomorrow at night. Good night. See you. Good night. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Rest. <laughs> Same to you.